Later this week, the Hope Foundation of the Mahoning Valley will hold its annual Wine for Hope. Now in its seventh year, and the event is a way to raise money and awareness of the needs of terminally ill children in our valley. This is video from last year's event. It's also a chance to recognize someone who's had an impact on the area. This year's recipient of the Hope Lifetime Achievement Award is Raymond Marrow. Marrow started a couple mentoring programs for at-risk kids here in the Valley. Now the foundation usually raises money to help families pay for treatment or other expenses, but the Hope Foundation founder and CEO Anthony Spano says thanks to continued support from the community, they're now starting to branch out. We're going to be actually giving and funding treatment funding um, disease control prevention medications and some variety of other stuff to the families in general starting here in the next couple months. Now the event includes a full dinner, wine tasting, entertainment and the awards presentation. All the proceeds from the event will help better the lives of chronically and terminally ill kids in the Valley. And I'm so honored to have a small part in this. I'll be emceeing this event Friday at 630 at the Lake Club in Poland. Individual tickets are $60 online, $75 at the door, or $450 for a table of eight. And you can buy tickets at www.hopemv.org slash wine. We will also have all this information, including the link to get your tickets posted on our website, wkbn.com. There are about 100 or so volunteers who help out with the Hope Foundation all year long. They have some great events throughout the year. This is one of their biggest fundraisers, uh, if not the biggest one, uh, here at the Lake Club. It's, it's this Friday night is so much fun, too, because a lot of events, you know, there's the wine tasting and the mm -hmm. raffle. This includes a full sit-down dinner, yeah. music, dancing. It's, uh, it's just a great time. You're, you're going to be there. I yeah, think. a lot of us right. from the station are going. <laughs> My husband and I will be there. Um, Alex and Christina sure. will be there. So a lot of the First News This Morning crew will be there. And there's also some pretty big goals right for this event. Yeah, I mean, Tony was talking to us uh, about uh, the goal, I think, for this event Friday it, it, uh, is to raise ten dollars to $15,000. And right there just helps them out through the entire year, as he said, with the mission, all that money staying local to help uh, the chronically and terminally ill kids and their families, too. There's a lot of expenses associated with that, and this does a great job of helping these families out. You can find out more about this particular event and also more about the Hope Foundation itself. Just head over to our website, wkbn.com.